Hello, I'm Mr. Reaper, and this is the 1.04 build of my RPG generator app. Um, I've had to do some little bit of work around to be able to record it, so uh, hopefully this will go through okay. All right, so let's let's start. When you first load it up, you'll see this screen. Um, pretty self-explanatory. It's a description of what's there. You can click the generators down the bottom, where it says click here to choose generator. And you can choose from a huge list of generators, which will get bigger as the, as the app grows. So, for example, um, if you want, say, a cause of death for whatever reason you might need one. There we go, an infected hand, a bit boring, trampled by a horse, poisoned, infected, yeah, old age, murdered for cheating at pool. There we go. So, you, um, for some reason, you need an NPC. Oh, that's quite easy. Uh, let's go for just the facts, man, one. A JTFM one. Uh, there you go. Just the facts. Obviously, this this bit particular bit I need to do some tweaking on to make it read a bit better. But nature of random generators and everything, you, know, you can expect to to have to tweak it a little bit. This doesn't replace a DM. No way would it ever replace a DM. A DM has to use his imagination and adapt uh, to what's being generated. Uh, let's generate a fear, uncontrollable phobia of dwarfs, uncontrollable fear of the colour blue, uh, meerkats, elves, and quite a few more in there as well. Um, I'm quite happy with the in names, for example, quite useful in D&D. &D. Um, let's face it, every single quest um, I've ever done um, has started off in an inn somewhere, or has involved going to an inn. Or has it started off in an inn, involved going into an inn, and finished in an inn. <laughs> so, yeah, there we go. The two antithes free house. The lover and the horny wife inn. The murdering stag and dwarf inn. The two mages free house. The dog and naked acrobat free house. I'm not sure I'd want to visit that one. Alright. Person names. Crick Tilderson. Now, these may sound strange, um... But there, there, there is a huge effort done in the random generator to make sure that they are pronounceable, or as close to pronounceable as possible. Um, and remember, we're talking about fantasy world names. Uh, I am going to do some tweaks to this to add some more name generators, uh, sort of elf names, dwarf names, etc. Uh, but that's coming, going to come on much later. Uh, let's just quickly talk about the elephant in the room, where it's saying, nice job, you're displaying a 320 by 50 test ad from AdMob. Yep, there is adverts on it, but only on this page. Uh, and I'll explain the reasons for that, uh, or not the reasons for that, uh, the reasons for that are quite obvious. Um, a ton of my time goes into this, and I've learned that people don't tend to donate. <laughs> so, there's ads just on this page. N this app is completely and utterly free. Uh, I'm never going to put a pay paywall behind it. I'll put a donate button in it at some point, um, but you won't get any extra functions for donating or anything along those lines, um, with one exception. I'm actually going to do it so that if people donate um, enough, you know, if enough people donate in one month, I'll disable the ads. <laughs> yeah, as simple as that for everybody, not just the people who donate. Um, these ads are generating me very, 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 very little uh, money. That, tiny amount of money but that's not the reason why I do this I'm doing this app to basically help DMs and players so let's go back to it so generate potions yeah, there we go there's a huge list of generators some of the most complicated ones are actually the old ones that come from my RPG app 3 uh, like the old character sheet when you generate an old character sheet, all these are clickable. So like where it says hometown, Arrowhead on a deserted field. If I click that, it'll take me to the description of Arrowhead on a deserted field. So uh, the depressed shark, that's a nice name for an inn. I can click that and it'll take me down to the tavern, the depressed shark. Yeah. So yeah, there is that. Um, obviously this character sheet is just set. That that's just It's generated and that's it. If I bring up the menu, I can share as HTML code, and that should bring in all the methods I've got for actually sharing the app, uh, sharing the data uh, via email, etc., etc., etc. 
Now, if I go to the HSN group hub, now the HSN group, that's Hack Slash and Nick, that's the D&D &D group that I'm a part of. Um, I've put this available for everybody because I think the character sheet will come in useful to people. Now the character sheet, uh, let's lose the keyboard. The character sheet, um, it may look a little bit simplistic compared to other apps that have character sheets, but um, uh, for one, it's free, whereas the other apps I've seen have been about between uh, 4 or $5 to, uh, I've seen some for about $7, which is absolutely ridiculous. Um, but yeah, so it, I'm not really good at graphic user interfaces, as you can tell, but it should be useful enough for people. Now you see these two arrows at the top. If you click them, you'll cycle between the saved characters. Now, this notes section, you can add in as many notes as you want. You know, you can add them all in. So as you're doing your quests, you just add your notes, add your notes, and that's all scrollable. See? Yeah, fantastic. That's going to come in very useful. Um, and we should be able to see where we've got the hit points here. Hit points max is 9, current is 9, and the little plus and minus buttons, they work. I haven't put a sanity check in to stop the hit points from going higher than the max, because there are circumstances where you might need to. The same as where race dwarf, I haven't put in uh, a drop down menu to select your race, because you might want to use this sheet in a way that I never intended it to be used. Um, you might want to use this in 5th edition D&D, for example, which has different races to what the classic D&D is that we play. I will do a 5th edition character sheet specific at some point. Now, this particular character sheet was actually done randomly. If I bring down that menu, and generate random character, it will generate a random one. Right, and all I need to do is hit New, and it will save it. And if I click between the arrows, there's two, there's one. I'm not quite sure why, um, why we're getting a number of insanity current. So there's obviously a, a little tiny bug there. Um, if I drop that down to 15, 13 seconds and I click the update button, that should save it. Come out, come back a bit. Yeah, there's something wrong with the sanity. <laughs> I'll look into that and get that fixed in an update. But most people don't use Sanity. Uh, I've never met people that have met, used Sanity. That will be fixed though. Okay, so as you can see, you can update it, you can do new. Uh, if you do list IDs, you'll see the list of the IDs so you can quickly see which ones are which. And you know, it's player name, player name, uh, character name, and their nickname at the moment saying name so yeah I, I've, I've got a little tweaking to do um yeah sorry about that but uh this bit is very much a work in progress this is uh the newest function and i've spent a week on it so far um a week of every minute of my free time <sighs> you can see the time at the top right hand corner of the screen now it's it's 12 minutes past five i should be sleeping uh, but I shall get I shall get the nickname bit and everything sorted out. Um, yeah, I'm not quite sure why it's doing that. I think I know. Right, let's try something. Hmm. Okay. So just go away from that and come back to it. It's saving. So it, it's a display thing that's gone wrong, not the actual app, but hey. But you can also, as I say, go back to character sheet, I went to back, and go to generate random character. There we go, just generates a random character. Very useful if your character dies. I can't, can't tell you the amount of times we've been doing a quest and my character has been um, spontaneously combusted or... Um, had an unpleasant incident with the ground after a several floor, floor drop um, and games had to stop while I quickly roll up another character. Um, well with this you just hit a couple of buttons and voila, you have a character. 
Now, obviously, this is the first iteration of the random generator of this particular sheet. So uh, the bonuses for saving throws are not calculated. The poison saving throw isn't calculated. Um, as I say, the sanity is going a bit strange. I'm not quite sure where that, uh, what that's doing. Yeah, it won't crash if you try and put, um, try and tell it to change numbers that aren't there. It will just tell you a warning. But uh, if you do that, yeah, see, the faker has all worked out correctly and everything as per classic D and D. Okay, um, let's go back to the main bit. One more thing I'll say about is the Facebook page. I'll load your Chrome up. Now this is my Facebook page. Um, I haven't updated it today, but um, I say my Facebook page. It's my, my app's Facebook page. Basically, I'm using it as a developer diary. So if you want to see the progress of developing work, um, come here and you'll see it all. So yeah, this is the RPG Generator app. It's free. I hope you enjoy it. And yeah, that's basically it. Oh, I will say feedback via email, yeah, which you can do on here. Uh, do your feedback via email or feedback via um, Facebook, that's fine, or even in the comments of this video section. Okay. Bye for now.